All right, let's talk weather here across the area here this morning. Still talking about some very low wind rain chances here, so we'll get back to that in just a little bit. But also, we're starting to reach the peak of hurricane season just in a few days, and things getting a little more active. So let's bring in meteorologist Mario Ruiz now to give us an update. We have things happening in the Atlantic and the Pacific you're going to talk about. And the Pacific, that's right. Peak of hurricane season is September 10th. That's on Saturday. Generally, around this time of the year, we start to see an increase in activity. Now, in the Pacific, I've got my eye on hurricane. Hurricane K. Now, Hurricane K is very close to the Baja Peninsula, but expected to make its way north. And as far as the Atlantic goes, we have two hurricanes now. We have Hurricane Earl. Hurricane Earl continues to move towards the north, expected to strengthen to Category 3 status as it approaches Bermuda. And Hurricane Danielle, expected to make a weird loop here in the northern Atlantic before it continues on towards the west. We have two more areas of interest, one that has a 60% chance of formation in the next five days and another tropical wave right off of the African coastline that has about a 20% chance of formation in the next five days. Those two are areas to watch this week. I'm going to go back to Hurricane K though, because this is what catches my attention. Hurricane K is riding right along the Baja Peninsula coastline in the next few days. Remember yesterday we talked about the intense heat and the drought across California, specifically Southern California. Well, Hurricane K is forecasted to move up that northern uh, Baja Peninsula coastline into very close to Southern California. This will at least give some moisture and some relief to Southern California. California. So here is the tropics, specifically uh, a tropical system in the Pacific that's helping bring relief there to our western coast. And this is forecast to happen sometime Friday into Saturday. So at least some relief in that sense. But areas of the Pacific Northwest still going to be dealing with that intense heat at least through the weekend. Back to you.